<clears throat> Alright, Shalom so Amakim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Racha, Gadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and others of the Great Millstone and the Ruel, who have taught us His truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, and honors and citations to the elect Akim. Doing these works in sincerity and in truth. Alright, so pretty much, man, I was meditating on something, you know. And, you know, whenever you whenever you meditate on something, man, and got something in your mind, you know, you should definitely do a lesson on it, you know. But pretty much, man, you know, in our sit-down, in our camp sit-down, I mentioned how, uh, ate through the spirit, man, lately, I've been saying within myself, you know, <clears throat> that yo Esau could could get me this night, you know he could try and come and attempt to uh, 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 get me this night for teaching the truth, which is just ultimately the mindset that you have to have, man. You know, and uh, uh, that's not to uh, push fear, because at the same time, you know the scriptures also say that the Lord He maketh a way to escape. You know, the scriptures say He's not gonna give us. Nothing more than we can't handle. Okay? So it's a fine balance, man. You know? But, uh, you know, also, let me get this. Um, that you have to count the cost. You know? You have to uh, uh, really sit and realize. That's why Apostle Tahar, you know, made the lesson. Um, you might be homeless. All right? You know? Because that's part of counting the cost. You know, you got to really... Let me just read it. This is Luke 14 and 28. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first, and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? See? So, you have to really sit down, and you have to count the cost. Right? Alright, this is how much money I got. You know, I can hire this much people if I paid them this much. All right. But I also need to buy this type of uh, wood. I need to buy this type of steel. I need to buy this and that. You know, but I also got this income. You got to really sit down and consider what you are about to do. Okay. And you have to, we have to, uh, so like I keep saying you. For every time I said you, I should have been saying we, so like it. You know, but we have to really sit down and consider that, man. You know, the fuck you looking at. But anyway, it says, you know, that's just annoying. I don't mean to be a fucking some damn tough guy, but that's annoying, man. How Esau don't mind his damn business. All right, so I'm at a nice little spot, you know, whatever, on a hike. I mean, on a, a, a bike ride. You know, minding my business, man. All right. So anyway, it says, uh, for which of you intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and count the cost, whether you have sufficient to finish it. So you have to sit down and count the cost. You know, you gotta realize everything. We gotta realize everything, man. That we're speaking against this place, but that's what our forefathers have always done. You know. Speaking about the prophets, the scripture says the, the spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. Okay? And, you know, Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me prophesied both of, both against many great kingdoms, you know, of evil, of war, and of pestilence. So, we, we understand everything, man, you know? And the knowledge, wisdom, and stability of our times. Okay? So we 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 understand everything. We understand that this is just our lot. Hey, Jeremiah one and three. You know, we were literally born to do this. We're literally on the planet Earth to do this, man. You know, people talk about I found my calling. <laughs> you ain't find your calling, nigga. You know, the prophets have really found their calling. You know. So this is all things we got to consider, but but guess what? The prophets have been put to death before, so that's something we consider. But that may not be so. 
You know, because like the scriptures I mentioned before, the Most High maketh the way to escape, and He will not give us more than we can handle. So if you a guy that can't handle getting put to death, if you a guy that can't handle getting snatched up by Esau, then yeah, how about Shemal Shai ain't gonna let that be because you can't handle it, man. So at the end of the day, you know, it's just all just, all right, mapping it out, man. It's just mapping everything out, you know. Just because you got to have that mindset that, look, you may be homeless. Um, Hey, Esau may try and snatch me up tonight. It doesn't mean that it's going to come to pass. But it is best to have it in your mind. Because also Isaiah 59 and 19 comes into play. You know, when a, when a, uh, 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 when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the standing of the Lord shall be lifted up against him. Okay? So, hey, we might get spiritual powers when Esau tries to come in. Knocking on everybody's door. Have you been vaccinated? Have you been vaccinated? You know, or so forth. Or try and snatch you up. To, to bring you to a concentration camp. Right? So, verse 29. Let's happily, after he laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. Right? Because you didn't sit down and count the cost. You didn't say, well, oh, shit. I didn't know I could get fired from my job for this. You know? I didn't know I could get put to death for this. I didn't know this was that popular to where millions of people were seeing it. I'm falling back. I didn't see. No, you got to consider that, man. But you got to consider the bigger picture. You know, if we overcome, all right, if we the elect that overcome, well, let's go into the scripture about how it said that, man. You know, well, I believe it's Revelation 2 and 20. You also got to consider the end goal, the rewards. You got to consider it all. All right. You know, so like, I don't know if you might have got a um, shoulder strap with some damn beer spray attached to it. Because when I'm on my bike rides out here, man, you know, people act like they don't know how to control a dog. So just wisdom, you know, mixed with faith, you know, wisdom mixed with faith, man. All right. So, come on, man, if that's, if you, you know, happen to see it. But anyway, this is Revelation 2 and 26. I'll start at 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh, see? All right. I realize I could be put to death for this. I could get snatched up for this. You know? But, spiritual powers could kick in. You know? The scripture do say there'll be some of them that shall not taste of death. All right, so let's do this, man. You know that's the mindset you gotta have. Oh, here comes Satan. It says, "Uh, I'm gonna wrap up anyway." It says, "And he that overcometh and keepeth my works, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations." You see that? see that man so the end result is we're gonna get power over the nations man we're gonna get we're gonna get the kingdom we're gonna get crowns put on our heads by Yahweh Shah himself all right so it's well worth it and you want to talk about counting the cause you know are we living here anyway we're not living we're just surviving Okay. So, hey, we're willing to give up our lives, man. You know, to, 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 to be able to actually live. You know, to be able to actually have power. To be able to actually rest. Because this is not our rest, man. See? It says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. See, unto the end. Hey, the scriptures say the Lord is not a man that he should lie. And Yahweh Shai said him and his father are one, meaning they're on the same page. So if Yahweh said he ain't a man that he should lie, then Yahweh Shai is not a man that he should lie. So if we keep these works until the end, until we can't do it no more, then we're going to get power over the nations, man. See? 
And that's a fact. Now, if you take the RFID chip, you ain't going to get... Can't lock it. I had to pause it. But, um... Yeah, about to wrap up anyway, man. It says, um... <laughs> but anyway, it says, uh... Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. Okay? So, we're going to be getting power over the nations. And we're going to be getting power over uh, 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 the angels, man. All right? So, come on, man. But that comes with a ma major price. It comes with losing your life now. It comes with... Uh, uh, um, uh, making yourself... Uh, uh, um, uh, um, dang. It was my train of thought. Uh, make yourself a spectacle. You know, the foolishness of preaching. You know, may, maybe having to get put to death, but it's worth it, all right? It's, it's worth it, man. So at the end of the day, we just got to have faith in Yahweh by Hashem al -Shah. You know, the scriptures say he shall not suffer a hair on our head to be perished, all right? Meaning we're not going to lose our uh, 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 spiritual body, okay? We're not going to lose our, our, our spirit, you know? Uh, um, and have to be reborn. We're going to make it the first trip. If we just do his will, man. So, really, at the end of the day, it's all about faith. Alright? Faith and wisdom, baby. Alright, so, Lord, one was edifying, Shalom.